welcome to uh, another geography revision video. Today we are looking at uh, climatic hazard case studies, focusing on tropical storms. We've got two tropical storms, obviously, that you've studied over your GCSE course. Your NEDC example, as we've got up here, is Hurricane Katrina, and your LEDC example that we've come on to is uh, Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. Uh, some people may have done something slightly different, uh, for the purpose of this video, I am just going to focus, though, on Katrina and Haiyan. Okay? So... The uh, cause of Katrina is your general theory of tropical storms, which we've looked at in a, an earlier video. Um, so warm sea temperatures at 27 degrees C, um, warm moist air meeting cold air, and so on and so forth. The key aspect, obviously, is to place detail when you're doing case studies. So you're talking about, you know, it started out in the Caribbean Sea, and then it moved into the Gulf of Mexico, where it continued to draw warm water and draw moisture up into the storm uh, from the Gulf of Mexico. Okay? So you've got your causes there, got a useful map obviously that shows you how the storm grew on your uh, case study sheet. In terms of primary effects, we could talk about all sorts, but we're trying to get our information out quickly in our exam answers. So four, death toll of 1,836. Um, Huge amounts of damage caused. The city, city was flooded up to three metres. Um, 10,000 people plus were made homeless, and there was damage to infrastructure. So most roads in and out of the city were damaged. Secondary, shortage of food, uh, no access to uh, clean water, supply for survivors. So there was a risk of contamination, um, risk of disease. People struggled to get to safe havens. Three million people left without electricity, and large, widespread looting across the city as people tried to deal with a lack of access access for food, okay? Um, Hurricane Katrina is best for questions about like human error or um, like human impact. Uh, I've seen a question in previous years about how, you know, what were what was the human like intervention or a question with that at its theme. So in terms of effects and causes, it always works for a good cause and effect one. Um, as we'll see just now, I've got one just ready here. Uh, it should be this top one here. Uh, no, that's an earlier one, so it should be the bottom one. There it is. So explain the natural processes causing the hazard and describe its impact on the people in the area. So it's perfect for a question like that because you can talk about its formation in the Gulf of Mexico or its formation in the Caribbean moving into the Gulf of Mexico and then talk about its impact, so death toll and damage and so on and so forth. Okay? Uh, Katrina also works best for questions about, as I say, human error. So this bottom box on your case this sheet talks about things like um, how human uh, how human impact contributes to the higher death toll. So not declaring a state of emergency in the city of New Orleans. So therefore emergency services were at their normal level not designed to deal with the, the sheer strength and damage caused by the hurricane. Okay, uh, The order to evacuate the city was not given until the day before. So 1.2 million people all tried to leave the city 24 hours before the hurricane hit New Orleans. Okay, So if your question asks you about human impact, make sure you know the errors that were made in the build-up to Hurricane Katrina hitting New Orleans. That can be quite useful. So, your NEDC hurricane, your NEDC tropical storm is Hurricane Katrina. Your LEDC one is, as I said, a Cyclone Haiyan, Typhoon Haiyan, over in the Philippines. And again, we've got uh, points on our case study sheet about what uh, caused it. So this time we're talking about warm sea temperatures of 27 degrees out in the western Pacific Ocean. That allows the storm to form and then it moves um, in a westerly direction towards the Philippines. And another important point, there's actually nothing to stop it. There's no land between where the storm started before it hit the Philippines. So there's nothing to slow it down, nothing to take away that storm's energy. Again, it's the little snippets of place detail mixed with the general theory of how tropical storms form. Again, we've got primary effects, a higher death toll than Katrina, 6,300 people died, 28,689 were injured, um, obviously damage to buildings and communications, etc. And again, uh, you can use um, Typhoon Haiyan perhaps for a good um, 
like response question, how they responded to it, it works quite well. Again, there's uh, criticisms of the, the quality of the response and how quick it was, so that works as well. Um, but these two, your tropical storms, are really best for questions about causes and impacts. So the natural processes that cause the hazard and then the impacts on people and the environment. So really, it's that same question again that we looked at for Katrina. Um, the, another video that we do will focus on drought, and drought tends to be the better case study for when you're looking at methods to protect people, uh, because there's more to write about for the two examples that we've got. So again, the natural process cause and how to describe its impact on people in the area, either Hurricane Katrina as your MEDC example, or Typhoon Haiyan as your LEDC example. And you can talk about the processes. Put in the place detail, it's impact on people, that's where you throw in your death toll, your damage, and so on and so forth. Okay? Lovely.